Hey, good morning, everybody. I was just gonna give you a moment here uh, with Bailey Bobcat, and you can hear Beecher Savannah in the background while you guys join in, share, tag each other, alert everybody that we are live here at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. So as soon as I see some comments, I will introduce our guide today. All right, looks like we got people and comments. So yay, Jen is going to be our guide and she's gonna take us on a virtual keeper tour this morning. Hello everyone. Woo! <laughs> so thanks for joining us today. Um, I'm gonna be leading, as uh, Brittany said, the um, a keeper tour. And I just wanna go over a little bit of what we're doing, why we're doing this, and um, you know, kind of a little bit of what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to be doing enrichment. And what enrichment is, is it's um, stimulating the mind for the animals. It's um, simulating behaviors they would do in the wild. So in the wild, they have a lot of um, places to roam. They have animals they have to take down. They have babies, they have to take care of their babies. And in captivity, um, a lot of those things don't happen. We don't breed. They don't have babies. Their food is nice and cut up for them. <laughs> yes, it uh, is. They don't have to catch it, although you'll see they sometimes do. Mm -hmm. uh, so they have large enclosures, but certainly not miles and miles of enclosures. So um, we want to make sure that they're not only physically healthy, but they're also mentally healthy. So we're going to do some things for them today, like make <clears throat> kitty ditty bags. And we'll talk a little bit about this because some of the behaviors that they're simulating is like taking down prey and tearing it up to get to the goodies inside. Inside of here we have spices. So we have all sorts of different spices we use. The only thing we don't use is pepper because that's just mean. <laughs> and salt because it doesn't really have a smell and they don't need any salt. So um, you'll see us do, do that today. Use those. And we'll explain a little bit more later on. Uh, we also, cats mark their, mark their territory. Um, roll in things to, so that they can smell like their territory and um, communicate with each other with scent. And one of the things that really makes them do that a lot is perfumes. Mm -hmm. So we have Axe here, which is definitely a very potent, um, potent, <laughs> potent uh, smell. And then we have another favorite, <clears throat> which is the coconut lime breeze. That seems to be a, a sanctuary favorite. Mm -hmm. However, our cats do have a very fine nose and they like <laughs> Chanel and things like that. Mm -hmm. This is also a great way to be able to help donate things to the animals. We're always looking for perfumes. We'd like an unopened perfume would be mm -hmm. <laughs> just your little remnants. Yes. <laughs> uh, and then unopened spices. Uh, so uh, that's a great thing for you to be able to donate to Big Cat Rescue. We're also going to um, give out some sickles. Hold yeah. On. Definitely a summer favorite. Yes. <laughs> so it is hot here in Florida. It's very it is hot. super hot. And so what we do is we um, take like chicken, um, like chicken stock. Uh, we'll take um, sardines and put them in a blender with water. Call it a sardini martini. <laughs> uh, we, when we cut up meat, you're going to see we're going to use red meat for later on for something. Um, there, when it comes to us, it's frozen, so as it thaws, the juices come out, so we collect that blood, and then we make blood sickles. Uh, we actually, I'm going to try one today, but we do a catnip sickle. Yeah, that's a big hit for a few of them. <laughs> I that was a good hit. It was. A hit. Yep. So what we do is we brew that in like a coffee maker, mm -hmm. and then um, freeze that. Yep. And um, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. It's my first time You'll that. like it, yeah. <laughs> do, do a bobcat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we have also Also, they lick and it takes them a long time to get to the goodies inside and mm -hmm. a different way of giving them some food, but then... So we'll see that. Um, cool. So, uh, enrichment and what we're going to talk about next, operant conditioning, are all ways that we can care for these animals without causing stress to them. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times we need to look at the cats, see if somebody's mouth is having a problem, if they're limping. Um, sometimes we need to give them some medication not easy to put over their mouth and stick them at it and so how do we do that <laughs> mm -hmm. so what we do is something called operant conditioning which is a positive reinforcement way of training behaviors we're not making them jump through hoops of fire or standing on balls <laughs> we're um, having them do behaviors so that we can get a good look at them and be able to take care of them medically um, without stress to them or us mm -hmm. and they like it so i'm gonna come around here yep so what we do is we take some of their favorite food, which today we're going to use red meat, which is beef. Yeah. And this is USDA grade beef. 
And um, as you can see, this would be really easy to put a hole in it and put a pill in here and give it to them as a little pill pocket. Um, so you're gonna see some of the behaviors we're gonna do with that today. And I won't talk too much about it because <laughs> it's easier to see it. Yep, action. it is. So let's get going and have some fun. All right. Masked up and on our way. Okay. We're going to head over to some serval areas. Okay, all right, I will follow you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much for the two donations that have come in. We are moving away from the gift shop area now, which is what's behind this fence. If your screen freezes, please just close it and come back. Um, we all know that it happens. It doesn't really help anybody to keep telling us that it freezes. You'll just have to leave and come back. Um, we're on 67 acres here in Tampa, Florida, and there are areas where it's kind of a dead zone. So if you just joined in, you can start this from the beginning and hear all about our enrichment and our operant. Look at him up there. <laughs> You guys see Gilligan up there on his little house? He looks so pretty. He does look pretty. Look at you. So, I couldn't stop by. I couldn't pass him up. He was too darn cute. <laughs> so, um, I'll give him a sickle. Okay. He definitely... Um, so, Gilligan, he is a lynx. A Canada lynx. And you can tell that he's a lynx because of those tufts on the top of his ears. Mm -hmm. That's a definite feature of lynx. But then also a lot of our bobcats have that too. Mm -hmm. Maybe not as definitive, but uh, so the way, easiest way to tell a bobcat from a lynx is to look at their tail. Mm -hmm. The bobcats have white underneath their tail and the lynx look like they dunked it into an inkwell. Yeah. And this one's frozen in here really good. <laughs> <laughs> so um, be nice and cold, buddy. Yeah, this will give him some um, nice, this is a chicken, ch chicken sickle. Oh, yeah. Yes. So even if he doesn't come and get it right now, because he's really darn comfy. Yeah, he looks pretty cozy. We're going to um, put it in there. He's going to see us do this. And then as he wants to, he can come and get it. Yep. Oh, you see, it's right there. He didn't <laughs> get a good throw at all. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I'm still napping. Uh, that's great. <laughs> I'll get the chicken remnants later when yeah, it's melted. Exactly. <laughs> So um, he's got big, huge feet, and he it's does. actually where he's at is really um, an awesome um, explanation of his where he would live in the wild, too, yeah, definitely. and why he looks like, the way he does. Um, in the wild, he he has really big feet, and it gets um, cold and snowy and icy where he is, and that um, those big feet help him to walk on the snow and the ice, rocks like this. But then also um, his back legs kind of look like a bunny rabbit's legs. Mm -hmm. And that's their um, primary uh, food source is um, hair. And so um, he can run like a, like a, like a um, snowshoe hare would. He can dodge right, dodge right, dodge left, um, jump up jump over up onto it like a bunny rabbit would. Mm -hmm. If you see, um, you know, your lions in Africa, they don't have that because their prey goes straight, mm -hmm. very fast and long. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so they need to be able to go straight really well. These guys need to be able to zigzag. Yep. <laughs> He's like, I will not demonstrate. <laughs> I know, exactly. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it is very hot here in Florida. It so is. inside this area here, there's a commercial cool. We have an air conditioning. Mm -hmm. So he's got a box with an air conditioner. Yeah. Uh, but he's in a nice shady place right now, and he's definitely not suffering. No, he's like very content. Good job, buddy. <laughs> he's so cute. He's so cute. Yeah, I don't know how anybody could drive by Gilligan oh, and not I stop. Really <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I've been here for 22 years, and July was 22 years, and I still, every day, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so blessed to be able to see this. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, you know, oh, this is right. Not everybody sees Gilligan Lane. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, pure magic. <laughs> 22 years. Wow. And In incredible. <laughs> Okay, cool. So we're gonna go to Smalls. Thank you very, very much um, for all of the donations. I can't see where we're at or who's actually donating, but we really, really appreciate it. Um, Jen is doing this out of the kindness of her heart leading this tour. Um, oh, she's up in her tree. 
I was gonna say if she doesn't look like she's gonna come down for it, you could always save the catnip one for Shiloh because he had a good reaction the last time. Oh, okay. Smalls, I think there were too many people and she didn't come down uh, <laughs> when they offered okay. her one. <laughs> well, she's pretty much up there, so we'll, you, go, we'll keep moving along. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say she'll uh, she'll get a spice bag for me later anyway, so. <laughs> program here where we train our um, volunteers to be able to train the cats. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of training. Yes. <laughs> and so uh, we have a list of animals that are pretty good at it. Yeah. So and, and they they have behaviors that we're trying to train and, and have the people look at. Like some of them are swabby mm -hmm. and we want them to experience that. Yeah. Some of them are really good in and like the the first grade of it. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Yes. And we have a lot of people here today that are going to be training her. Yes. Yeah. She'll get oh, lots of it. treats. Yeah. She will get lots of treats. Our weekend uh, volunteer force is much larger than during the weekdays. So there's usually a, a huge abundance of people here on Saturdays and Sundays. Whereas like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are pretty low. Um, and sometimes Fridays are pretty low. So uh, on the weekends, the cats get like a little bit of everything from everybody. All right, yeah, some yeah, cereal balls. So we're gonna give Cricket a blood sickle. Perfect. She's in a pretty good spot for it too. Yeah, I thought. Like Cricket is just so for me. I never really like Cricket. Never really acted to me. It was kind of like eh, I don't really care if you ever come back. Again. <laughs> Not be on right, yeah, indifferent. <laughs> so, um, cricket for me, but then I saw her the other day with some of our interns, and she was all flirty, flirty, flirty. Mm -hmm. She loves interns. Yep, she's she's getting really good at grooming. She's been my new grooming, um, uh, I guess, experiment <laughs> to see if she'd handle it, and she's done really good. And it's always with sickles, so. Good job, lady. Go over my ears so you can hear better. So this is Cricket. Cricket is a serval, an African serval. African servals are amazing animals. Um, you can see they have both stripes and spots, and so they blend in with their environment really well. Because not everything is spotted and not everything is striped. You know, they really blend in with the shadows well. She's got those big, huge ears, so she can hear a mouse tunneling under the ground. She can hear extremely well. Uh, they're also built a little different in size so that she can hear, um, but she's got like big, big radars there. Mm -hmm. Big time. Uh, she has long legs and a Super medium nice. body and a medium sized tail. Those long legs, it allows them to be able to go and grab that mouse that's in that tunnel. They also can are amazing jumpers, so they can jump really high and over onto their prey. Um, as you can see, our enclosures here, all of our cats are on dirt. There's nobody that's on concrete. We have one enclosure here that has concrete. And the reason we have that is because it's next to our hospital. So if we have a cat that's had a surgery or has an open wound or something like that that can't be on the dirt, we put them in there. But other than that, they have um, what they would have in, in, in nature. Okay. They also have grass. They have lots of areas that they could hide. They have palmettos but that also encourages other animals to come through here too. Mm -hmm. So we have seen um, some of our uh, servals and some of our bobcats uh, catch a, a, a wandering animal into their enclosure. Mm -hmm. Usually they don't eat it, some of them do, uh, but a lot of times they don't eat it and um, <clears throat> uh, they just wanna play with it because they know their other food's gonna come over. We just got dissed. We totally got snubbed. Fine, you're getting a close up real quick then. <laughs> <laughs> Let's show everybody your pretty little face. Let's show everyone that pretty cricket face. You just totally dissed that sickle. Maybe she's just like, I get so many of them now that. Well, we did also <laughs> just feed everything. Yeah, they've eaten in the last like two hours, so. And it's very hot. <laughs> I'm just standing here and I feel, I probably look like I'm crying because I just have so much sweat <laughs> pouring down my face. <laughs> Suffering from that. <laughs> right. She's a little plump. A little plump. We 
watch yeah. her very closely. Yeah, we, uh, we do. She's also a meds cat, so she gets morning and evening little yes. treats too. Yes, she does so have cute. a little bit of a limp, so we do have her on um, some medication to um, pain on that a little bit um and uh she 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 had a really poor diet before she got here and so um we kind of watch what she eats but she also has a curly tail and we're not sure if that might be a side effect of it or mm -hmm. why she has a curly tail but you can definitely whenever you see any videos or anything you can tell cricket because of her curly tail yeah sure. definitely now servals are also amazing jumpers they can catch a bird mid-flight. And what they do is they jump up and they smack the bird with their front legs and have it go down on the ground and then they jump on it and eat it. <clears throat> so try it, it's really hard. I've tried to catch a bird mid-flight before and it's not easy, so try it sometimes. Please tell me there's video of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Cricket. <laughs> Do you have ginger on top of her platform like next door? Yeah, I saw that earlier. I'm like, that's kind of, that's kind of scary. <laughs> well, thank you again very much for any and all donations. As I mentioned, we closed in March of 2020. We still do not have any current plans to be re reopening to the general public. So your donations are more important than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Hutch, and we're going to do some opera. Okay. Um, he will definitely be happy. <laughs> yes, he will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's like, I am already in lockout. <laughs> <laughs> Did not have to tell him twice. <laughs> Is it my time? Is it? I'm so excited. Good job, buddy. So Hutch is a little guy. Um, <laughs> you'll see, he's, he's not a little serval, but he's a little cat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so we cut the pieces kind of smaller for them. Mm -hmm. uh, we, it's it's just a snack. It's not their meal. Yep. Although Hutch is like, I didn't get that. Yeah, of course. Oh, he's a big liar. <laughs> Him to do a couple behaviors. This is a really long stick. We're gonna ask him to do a couple behaviors. So I'm gonna show you guys um, what we call lockout and why we use lockout. I'm also gonna show you um, some behaviors like having him lay down so that we could check him out really well. We can see if he's got any joint issues. I'm gonna have him walk, so you'll see a bunch of that. Perfect. Oh, thanks. <laughs> You're being very patient, boy. Yes, yeah, I know this. <laughs> they get good at it, and then they throw the behaviors at you. Yes. <laughs> Hutch. 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 <laughs> He's trying to train her right now. He's like, I've been in here this whole time. because she hasn't yeah. asked him to do lockout yet. That's why she's not treating him in lockout yet. She also had to wait out his long stretches. Yeah. He loves to do that. Yeah. So that behavior, that trying to grab things is something we don't want to reward. So I waited him out on that. Mm -hmm. I waited him out. I didn't reward him when that's happening. Yep. Um, so, as a serval, it's a very natural thing for them to do. Uh, that, like we said, they have those long legs that do that, but we don't, that's dangerous for us. Yep. Hutch, come on, lock up. Lock up. <laughs> he really wants to do me. He does. He's like, this is my session, lady. He's hiding behind the tree. <laughs> Got to show him that there's still treats yeah. involved. Had to get him back in line. Yep, he had to be re re reset, reset exactly. <laughs> so this is lockout. A lockout. There's a couple reasons we have this. First, we can close the door, which I'll shake it in a second. Um, 
but also we have a cat right now. Her name is Priya and she needs some eye drops. So what we can do is we can give the knee up here like this and we can drop eye drops into their eyes mm -hmm. if we had to do that for him. He did a very good example. You would have gotten it in there for sure. <laughs> how it's easy to see his eyes there and I could easily just go blip mm -hmm. into there. Yep. Yeah I was like I'll trade you since it's ropes over there. So we get them used to seeing that the door moves and it makes sounds and if she needed to close him in there which you guys recently just saw with him because he went on vacation so that way it's not a scary thing it's just a natural thing they hear and see all the time. Yep. You want to practice that. Yeah. So every time that you put them into lockout to close the door and have them go and get a move or go to the bed or something like that you want to practice it yeah and um then the one time that it happens it's not so it's not so crazy They're like well that really sucks <laughs> Usually, that doesn't right yeah <laughs> nine times out of ten he's not actually going anywhere usually so, I'm gonna end him on a down over here as you can see he's walking really good he has no limp I know. <laughs> he's so reachy. <laughs> he does it so nice. He's like, hey, yeah. Hey. <laughs> the other ones are like, <laughs> yes. Usually there's a lot more swatting. He's just like, I'm just stretching and showing you my claws. Oh, I know, sir. You don't like this camera because it doesn't give you food. He's like, did somebody drop something there? I'm I, sure still, still something. I still smell food, but it's gone now. Sorry, buds. All right, all done. <laughs> He's like, okay. Maybe if I'm really sweet, yeah. give me some food. <laughs> now I'll be rubby. <laughs> this didn't work. Now I'll be sweet. <laughs> Such a serval. So Hutch has a very large enclosure. Mm -hmm. um, they all do, but he has several rooms. So you can see here, he's got a little tunnel here and there's a guillotine door there. So if we needed to move him um, or do like maybe do some maintenance to his enclosure over here. We could move him over here, put a sickle in there, close that door. He'd be busy with the sickle while we go and do maintenance over here. Yep. Uh, so it makes it much easier and again, less stressful for the animal and less stressful for us. Yep. To be able to care for them. Yep. All right. Shiloh. Okay, yes. Let's go find this Shiloh bobcat that nobody seems to have seen since he went on funcation. <laughs> This is uh, the second time that Shiloh's gone on Funcation. If I had to guess, he's in that back corner <laughs> where all the bobcats always hang out. And there, the camera can't reach him back there, but we'll go in and check on him. They moved him really late on Thursday, um, late in the day, and I was not privy to that, so I was not there to show you guys him go live. Uh, moving over there, but it is his second time out here. So he has been here before. So I'm gonna give him some meat, but I also, I have that catnip. Perfect. So. This is the Funcation enclosure. The small cats rotate out here for two weeks at a time and it's 22,000 square feet. So while they do have very large, windy, um, sectioned home enclosures. The Funcation enclosure has one very large area and then a smaller back section that helps us uh, catch them to take them home. Yep. Oh, I see Cyrus. He's probably the welcoming committee back there. Oh, that, was, that, was rude. Uh -oh. that was very rude. So, um, also, when animals get moved from one enclosure to the other, it's very exciting for them mm -hmm. because they um, get to smell who was just there, repee on everything. Yep. <laughs> and it's funny because they tend to like really behave like they're on vacation. They're like, I don't really need to eat today. <laughs> exactly. I don't need to eat now. <laughs> yep. Or you took too long for this service here. <laughs> Yep, it's all about them on vacation. All right, so, Mr. Shiloh, I honestly have not really done much opera with him before. He's pretty decent. He's He gets a little noisy and grabby. Oh, we're getting snubbed. Well, okay, so you, you said he moved Thursday night. Uh-huh. 
So we're only a couple days and we have Cyrus right mm -hmm. there. He's got a new neighbor, a new enclosure. He's a little nervous. So we're just gonna give him this. Just sickle want the sickle. Well, the last time he got it, he only like, he like sniffed and rubbed on it a little bit. And then he went off and basically had the rollies for like an hour. <laughs> oh yeah. You still adjusting buddy. He is. He's still like, oh my gosh, this is, there's a scary cat over there. <laughs> I'm in a new enclosure. I'm, and he's not hiding. No. He's out. Nope. He's good. doing good. So we'll go, what we'll do is we'll go get another sickle and we'll take Cyrus over on the other Good side idea. and give, give him, him some time. Yep. yep. I like it. I like it. Yep. So he, I have a feeling that's his morning routine in this new cage is like he'll eat breakfast mm -hmm. and then he has to really figure out if there's a way out of that cage. <laughs> like it's yeah. a brand new, like, you know, <laughs> they, they pretty much all do it when you move them to a new enclosure, they walk the perimeters because they're trying to be like, how would I get out of here if I could? <laughs> yeah, where's home? <laughs> Aww. Uh, and Cyrus, he gets all of the newcomers. So he's he does. Business, so he's probably like, hi, 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 hi. Yes, hi, hi. I have a feeling he's very needy. Yeah, you make weird noises. <laughs> You're not <laughs> Yeah, Filmo is basically like not having a neighbor. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because uh, we, we do training opportunities for Cyrus and Filmo and he's, um, he's a little shy. Yeah. And so we'll come up and we'll be like, well, how was it? And he's still no. <laughs> Phil, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, we'll go distract Cyrus and let Shiloh have his morning routine. Yeah. Yep, she will. He is, yes. Do you have an extra stick? If not, I've got one. Okay, cool. I didn't measure this morning, so I have a lot. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I think it was yesterday or the day before the cleaners, I think it was Saturday maybe, uh, the cleaners discovered um, a bat outside of Jinx's enclosure that was passed away. So that's actually the second one in the last few months. The other one was found in Filmo's enclosure. Anytime something like that, a raccoon or a bat or something like that, the cats do go on a mandatory 30 day quarantine. So since it was found outside of Jinx's enclosure, but it was still near him, he is now on a 30 day quarantine. So we do have um, a list that I didn't go over and this is the naughty list and the nice list. Yep. So uh, we have some animals that will eat paper. It doesn't hurt them the first time they eat that. We certainly don't want to keep giving them that to get them bound up or anything. Yeah. So um, I was just checking because uh, it always changes. The cats figure, oh, this tasted good today or something like that. So um, I, neither one of these guys over here is on that. So I'm going to give them some paper enrichment as well. Yeah, I've been trying to find anything Cyrus will play with. Like he's so about sickles or food. But he just, he just like walks right over what you give him and then like screams in your face. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I want you to play with something. We'll bring sickles and... <laughs> so for the person that's really kind of upset in the comments about Shiloh, pacing is something that you're going to see in any captive environment, no matter what we do to go above and beyond for the cats. As Jen pointed out, he's only been out there for about two-ish full days, um, and he's still adjusting. And the reason that we do this is because while he's on vacation, we're going to be able to go in his home enclosure and completely revolutionize it. We can fix platforms, we can clean dens, we can add new dirt, new sand, new grass seed. We can really go above and beyond on all of the maintenance, and it's only for two weeks, so they're not there for you know, ever, and they usually adjust within a few days. Um, but pacing is a part of captive life, unfortunately. That's just, that's why we don't think these cats belong in cages to begin with. Well, and it's different if they're pacing, like, for a day or two, but if they're pacing... Constantly, constantly yeah, we would readjust. 
Yep. Then we'll really watch that. But we can identify why he's pacing right now. Yep. If he kept pacing in two weeks, yeah. we would then have to come up with a plan. To right. Them. Yeah. And, and also, we, we always try cats out on Funcation. But if we can tell they absolutely hate it, we never do that again. Yeah. So that's why Smalls does not go on Funcation. That is why we built her her own playground <laughs> where she never, ever has to move from there because we have identified that moving her is beyond stressful and we don't do it now so I don't think Filmo would be great either. no Filmo's definitely not on the list either <laughs> there's definitely a few that are absolutely not <laughs> it's not fun Casey. it's not <laughs> it's not it's more like a business trip <laughs> not fun <laughs> Right, yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so I did a couple things here. I put some of that um, male uh, cologne on <laughs> Yep, I can and smell it. <laughs> this has Italian seasoning in it. Cool. And then we have a blood sickle, and I think it's a fish sickle. Cool. So I'm just going to put these here first because we're going to try this first. Yes. Let's see what so we I think. I changed out my gloves because I wanted to make sure that I didn't have any meat on here so that they it, they wouldn't be encouraged to eat the paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's always this reaction. I'm like, but buddy, what? you could you what? could flutter it around like it's a bird. Kick it in the air. What? Smash it. Bites it. Give her one too. <laughs> He's just like, nope, it has to be edible. <laughs> so, oh, Sierra. That's the cutest little. Sierra. Wow. Yes, <laughs> I know. We just started selling a t shirt on bigcatrescue.biz that is all about Cyrus and his trills. Aww. Right, Sierra? Yes. So, he um, he's a caracal. Caracal in Turkish means black ear. If you can see, he's got those big black ears there. He's got a very pretty tail and butt that he's showing as well. <laughs> yep. Being extremely flirty because he knows the sickle's on its way. Uh -huh. um, he also is commonly called a desert lynx. However, he's not identified as a true lynx. Um, that's a common name for them because of those tufts on the top of their ears. They live more in a savanna type area. Um, so they don't have any of those stripes or spots. They would um, blend in with more of like the um, grasses that are the same color and that type of thing. Mm -hmm. However, he blends in really well here. He does. He yeah. Does. He can become one with the palmettos. Yes, <laughs> yes he can. He can. So we're going to stop, uh, it's not cheesy, Come on. Stop, uh, prolonging yeah. the, <laughs> prolonging the, oh my God, I must have this. Yes. You yeah. get a sickle. He's like, that's what I wanted, lady. Uh-huh. Ooh, it's a good one. We got a reaction. We Yay. did. Yay. So we do um, record everything that we hand out to the cats, and then we record what their reaction to it was. So it's a scale of one to four. One is completely ignored, did not interact, all the way up to the four. Which is a cricket. Which is the <laughs> cricket, yep. And this would be a four, because Cyrus is going to thoroughly make sure that this disappears. And did he flip it on his own? He I did, it. yep. So yeah, a lot of them are that smart. What they do is, because when we blend everything into the blender, we pour it in here, but it settles on the bottom. And so they know how to get to the Tootsie Roll and the Tootsie Roll pop. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they, they figured out if they flip it over, they get to the good stuff. Yep. Good job. Did the little lady come out? Nope. nope. She's got a perfect little like area there when she wants to come. Where are you at? Um, you know what? I know why she didn't come out, because she's under her platform. Oh, hey, Chaos. You have treats. <laughs> so Chaos um, is a female caracal, and she's got a nice big, huge den here, which a lot of times she hangs out here because Cyrus is here. Mm -hmm. She likes Cyrus, <laughs> but not to live with Cyrus. Yes, exactly. She apparently is a messy husband or something. <laughs> no. um, we actually, they came together. And um, we were told that they had lived together before. Mm -hmm. So we kept them together. Um, a lot of people ask, you know, do you pair up animals? Do you house them together? 
in the wild, these guys would be solitary, so it is kind of unnatural for them to live together. Mm -hmm. But we're not in a real natural setting. We're in a captive setting. So right. we listen to what the animals want. And these two came together. We've noticed that Cyrus was up on the top of his platform all the time. We kept calling it his man cave. <laughs> and um, then we realized, wait, why? And so then we found out that she was kind of being mean to him. Yeah. <laughs> Telling him to get away. She was. So. <laughs> yeah, she's the one that ended up limping. <laughs> That's the part yeah. that makes me laugh. I'm like, one day he probably just gave her a love bite and then it was over. <laughs> I said, I'm done with you. <laughs> So um, we do put them in separate enclosures or like if, um, if we had them in the same enclosure, over here on the side, you can see there's a little area here where we can have two doors closed mm -hmm. so they can't get to each other, but they can see each other. Yep. And that's how they like it. Yep. Uh, so we've, we've built our enclosures for that kind of a circumstance. Mm -hmm. And, um, but so, we do have some cats though that have come here separately and we noticed that they were about the same age mm -hmm. they kind of were watching each other they had the same disposition so we slowly integrated them together and um put them together but as i said if they're not together it's not it's not something oh, let me show her wild, real quick they would be together anyway right yeah and you guys will know that as like max and marianne bobcat flint and nabisco bobcat it's over there yeah if i know you'll sneak over there as soon as we leave i just wanted to show that you're real you're just under there <laughs> total opposite personality of cyrus but <laughs> they are all complete opposites <laughs> he is awful with operant <laughs> he is and she's, she's really good great. yep yeah, he's a maniac. We don't even use a stick with him, and he's not open to any other trainers besides the people assigned to him. <laughs> who know? And Monster. I was going to say, who is Rebecca? And poor Rebecca, <laughs> like, she just tosses meat into him usually because he's that nuts. And I have Bailey. Bailey's the same way. Bailey Bobcat. does not like sticks. Nope. And so I just give her... And all she does is she sits there and goes, <laughs> but the goal is to keep her in lockout so that we can close the door on her and we can move her if we need exactly. to or do any medical procedures. Exactly. So she just sits there and tells me all about how she's a, mean, she's a mean girl. Yep. And I should just go away. <laughs> Oh, yes, and he's creeping yeah. along. <laughs> Absolutely. Plus, all of you guys, I know he's a fan favorite. Oh, yeah. So, Mr. Manny, I like to close him on one side, put the sickle in, and then open up the door. Um, I'm just overprotective. Yeah. Um, but his feet, as you can see, is extremely. Mm hmm. He's very, very intense. So, we're, you guys are going to see how we can shift them easily. Yep. Come on. Our ropes are over here to do that. We're going to walk around the side of it. You look so good, though. He does look at him in all that greenery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the camera won't focus. You're too handsome. It won't focus on you. All right, Jen's going around the other side. Oh, no, he's gone. He's most likely going to follow us over here. Yep. <laughs> thank you again very much to anybody and everybody who has donated and shared this especially all of you helping each other out in the comments as well on these types of tours i try to just kind of stay in the moment <laughs> He's watching, so he knows she's about to put in a treat. Yeah, Big one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now we gotta open the door. Now if I wanted to, I could close this. Put this here, and then we could do any maintenance we need to do over here. Mm -hmm. Gonna flip it. First time you do you lose doors like this, this noise is extremely scary. Yep. 
But you can see he didn't even flinch when she did that. <laughs> He's like, nope, I got yeah. what I wanted. We've done, we've moved him and shifted him plenty of times. It's just exposing them again to the noises, to the behavior. Nothing bad happened. I got a sickle. Mm -hmm. And um, again, if we did have to lock him in, lock out, move him or give him an injection or something like that, it's only one bad time mm -hmm. out of a hundred. Yep, exactly. In the morning, he gets uh, locked out of his feeding area, as well as there's a second door for him mm -hmm. too. Um, you can see that door is closed right here now so that we can clean this side of the enclosure easily without him being all in our face. And, and we, have, we have new fancy signs I to help know. people know which door they're supposed to be closing. Sometimes that information gets a little construed. Yeah. <laughs> people just start closing random doors and we're like, nope, yeah. this one's the one. <laughs> and so he's like any other cat. They're always on the wrong side of a door. So as soon as you open that up, he runs over there to see what you just did. And yep. then you close the door and then you can safely do the rest of this. Exactly. Yeah. Actually, Kimba and Manny are both very simple yes. to shift and clean. It's, it's a well-oiled machine. They both do the exact same behaviors. So yeah. it is really helpful and it keeps us extra, extra safe. And honestly, for Kimba, I think he appreciates it. He's, I think so, too. Yeah. He's like, I don't want to be near you. I don't want to be, you know, he just wants to. Yep. He, he knows it, and he, he really adapted to it well. Yep, I agree. You already put a hurting on the one side of that sickle. I know. <laughs> oh, so jaguars. Didn't talk about them. <laughs> um, so Manny is a jaguar. Jaguars live in South America. Uh, they're a lot different than a bunch of the other cats. They have a very, very strong mouth. Uh, they, it's, it's thought to be one of the strongest mouths in the um, cat family. The reason being is because they eat animals like caiman, which is kind of like an alligator. Mm -hmm. And so what they'll do is they'll come in from the top, catch the caiman, and then they'll chomp it on the head. And so, you know, that's real tough there. So they have to have very strong um, jaw for that. Also, if you look at his rosettes, his rosettes are large and they have spots inside of them. There's other animals um, that are leopards and they have spots too, but they're smaller and they typically don't have spots inside of them mm -hmm. like that. Um, M Manny is a gorgeous, gorgeous example of um, a jaguar. Um, he's actually been in um, some, some magazines and he's, he's a superstar. Mm -hmm. He is, <laughs> he is. He's a great example of it. Manny came here um, from a zoo life. So he did come, he was retired from a zoo to come here. Um, some, some zoos, if they run out of room, euthanasia is an option. So instead of euthanasia, he was able to come here, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. We're very thankful for that. Definitely. That sickle's a third of the size that it was. I know. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Let's go see this Mr. Yeah. Magic. Yes. Go see Jinx. Um, I saw a bunch of people questioning what does a 30 day quarantine mean? So Jen can definitely explain why Jinx is on quarantine and what that means for us and him. So Jinx, uh, the other day there was a bat that was found on the ground, um, dead near his enclosure. Even though we, we didn't see any puncture wounds or anything, that he would have gotten it, we still um, make sure that he goes in quarantine because bats do carry rabies. Mm -hmm. Our cats are fully vaccinated, but um, there's, there's still uncertainty and we're overprotective um, because they're not domestic cats. They are exotic animals and so things can be a little bit different. Right. So, um, so we, we quarantine for 30 days to make sure that he doesn't show any signs of rabies. Mm -hmm. And all that means, it doesn't mean that he's put away or anything like that. He's still in his enclosure. We just use only just certain tools at his enclosure mm -hmm. and we don't share them with anybody else. Right. We also, when we're done with them, we bleach them really good mm -hmm. so that we don't communicate, we don't um, contaminate anyone else yep. with whatever they may potentially have. Right. We also change out our gloves, but they get, they don't leave their enclosure. They don't get treated any different except for the tools. Yep. Yep. Basically. Yep. Exactly. 
But we're always talking about it because we're always afraid we're going to forget. Things. Exactly, yeah. That's more for us to just remember, oh, yeah, you need different gloves. You need a different trash bag. You've got to use his special tools instead of your own that you were carrying. So, so like, this stick, he may have his own stick, too. Uh, but this stick, if I use it, I'm going to put it upside so that I don't use it for anything. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to grab some gloves, too, to change out after. With Jinx because he loves it. Mm -hmm. Jinx also loves to stalk and hide and jump at you. <laughs> Not really jump, but like sneak up. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, he's playing, but play with big cats is scary. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Um, hmm. It's hard to say. He's been on the big platform a lot lately, but we're still so close to after breakfast that he could be over here. So Aww. I don't know. He's got like such a long, windy, like unique enclosure. Kind of inside. Yeah, he's bound to be. He's bound to have been watching us since we showed up for oh, Manny. Yeah. So he's around. <laughs> yeah. Jinx is one of my favorites. Um, so I think I'm one of his favorites. <laughs> I don't know, but... Favorite, Absolutely. Uh, He's actually our number one most sponsored cat. Oh, really? A hundred percent. Yep. It's always between him and Aria, but at the end of last month, the totals had Jinx back in the number one spot. <laughs> oh, <Miss> Nikki, right? <laughs> I know. I know. So, um, but he's also... There's quite a few volunteers here that he's their favorite. Yes, absolutely. I got a whole, so are you going to do Jinx? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, okay. Hey, Catherine. Catherine. I'm just trying to see where his body is. Oh, he has a sickle near his lockout side. Yeah. We're trying to find this other one. I know, or Mr. Sneaky. I keep looking behind me because I'm like, he's got to be like army crawling behind me somewhere. Yeah, so much so it takes a while to find them. He's probably now at the total opposite end. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nope. All right, he's right, got to be... <laughs> gotta be this way. <laughs> hmm. He blends in like um, like the shadows underneath the palmettos, yeah. so it can be really tough to find him. And he's like a cockroach. He gets really far <laughs> down the ground. Like, he's really yes, he can. <laughs> you see Jay? <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> no, he's got to be at the other end. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, this has been real fun for him to watch. <laughs> jinx, jinx. We should take online that somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to guess he, we are literally going to have to go around that he's in that very back bubble. Yeah. So not only does he have all of this, but he has this extra bubble. Back there. Like he, he's been laying back there a lot. He right? does. Yeah. When it's not flooded back there, that's his, like his morning spot. And that's where he poops. Yes. Although did Bethy Ann, has Bethy Ann shared this with everybody? I told her she needed to. One of his um, blue donut toys, uh -huh. he's been using it as his potty. No way. In the middle of it. And I'm like, who potty trained Jinx? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I, fa I have found it there the last like four weeks in a row. And she wow. showed me a picture of it. And I was like, are you serious? Wow. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. Now you guys get to see what we really do. <laughs> Search the for the cats. <laughs> Keep in mind, he's a 21-year-old leopard. Closer to 22 now. Yep, we were right. <laughs> there he is. Hi, silly. <laughs> so silly. Come here. You're going to be like this too? <laughs> today? 
He's like, it's super hot. <laughs> You'll be able to see some of his spots now that he's in the sunlight. Yeah, I think I might have to get a little closer. I also make sure that I make sure their eyes look good and you can see he's got beautiful eyes. He has gorgeous eyes. He's getting older and he's getting white on his feet. Mm -hmm. But um, as Brittany was saying, he is a leopard, a black leopard. He almost could be trained to roll on his side, I think. I think he could too, <laughs> yeah. He's very food motivated. Um, but as he walks back and forth, you can see he has some spots underneath the dark hair. Mm -hmm. So it's a melanistic trait is what they call it. And it's dark fur over the dark spots. If you were to shave his fur off, you would see that he has, his skin has mm -hmm. those spots. Mm -hmm. It's like a tattoo. It yep. can't change. He's so smart, buddy. We can see that he's walking well. And he's pacing because he's excited. Mm -hmm. now, he's the opposite of Shiloh, who was like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared and nervous right now. All right. And he's like, oh my God, you have <laughs> money for me. And he finally <laughs> found me. <laughs> We're going to bring him over to his lockout and give him one more there. Okay. Come on. <laughs> now you're all okay. <laughs> Bursting through the palmettos. Good job, sir. I got one more for you. One more. <laughs> I know. I love you. <laughs> I do. Good I job, love you. handsome. Fan favorite, Mr. Jinx. What? He's like, I know that you have more. <laughs> I know you do. He's like, that cart over there has got some at least. <laughs> oh, he does have his own stick. Oh, cool. Good to know. Where's his cleaning bucket? Maybe the other end? Oh, uh, probably, yeah, because you start over there. Yeah, okay. So, but we're not going to use this stick anymore. Yeah. All right, good job, buddy. Leopards Always are found fun. both in Africa as well as Asia, and they're really great climbers. So they take their food up into the tree with them, so he's got that nice long tail so that he can get up on the tree and keep himself up there really easy, mm -hmm. get out on the um, branches and keep his, um, his, uh, keep himself from falling mm -hmm. keep his balance That's yes where there we go <laughs> uh, there are different kinds of snow leopards there's an amur leopard or there are different kinds of leopards there's a snow leopard a mirror leopard um african leopard asian leopard they're um similar um but the snow leopard is very very fluffy mm -hmm. and they live in the himalayan mountains so they have to be very fluffy like that yeah. too but they have the same body structure instead of using their tail for trees though they use it for the um the, the mountains, like, mm -hmm. you know, the rocks and um, getting around there. Every time I see a photo of one in the wild, it's always on the, like, the scariest looking ledge I've ever seen. Yeah. And I'm just like, that's absolutely incredible. Really, today, Matt and I were watching Planet Earth, you know, that mm -hmm. show. And I saw the one where they got a snow leopard um, video taking down prey. It was the first time they ever had. Incredible. And I remember when I saw that, it was like five <laughs> or six years ago. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it was like me with football. I'm like, I remember when that first came out. <laughs> All right. Well, we've okay. got about five minutes left. Okay. So yeah. Um, so we'll say. quickly go and say hi to Nikki then. Okay. And then we'll make our way out to Outback and okay. end up there. Sounds good. All right, so we're going to go see Nikita. We had too much fun. <laughs> if you guys came in and missed any of this from the beginning, you can rewatch it at dailybigcat.com. We're probably going to go well over our hour because Jen is so thorough and she's got so many connections with these animals and so much knowledge to share with you guys. So. Assuming my camera doesn't overheat, that's the only reason I'm ever worried about going longer than an hour, especially this time of year. I don't really have much for her, so we'll just see her. Okay, quick, yeah. And then we'll go 
out. Definitely, because okay. people miss seeing her because her camera is still down. So no. yeah, her it's been well over a month, if not longer. So I, I try to make it a point of showing her at least every other day because nobody can see her right now. Oh. Well, Miss Nick Nick, this morning I can report she ate every last bite of her food. <laughs> good morning. Good. So good. You cut it up nice and small for her so she just swoops. <laughs> and she loves her some chicken. Here she is. Okay. I see a, t a Nikita tail. Hi, Nick Nick. <laughs> Might have to go see her from the other side. Oh, hi, lady. She's like, I know somebody's there. Hi. It's your favorite girls. Hi, babe. Oh, it could be hard to show you this angle. Yeah. It's gonna be hard to show you. Hi, sweetheart. Uh, she's sleeping in a nice shady spot. She so is. Nikki is our um, lioness. Let me go back on the other side. I can at least keep it in focus that way. Did you sit up? I know. Oh, oh big yawns. Big yawn. you up. No, you stay right there, honey. I got some incredible photos of her last week, actually. Oh, yeah. Spent some time trying to, trying to get some photos. So I'm like, oh crap, we have a calendar we're gonna have to put out soon. Oh, yeah. Right? Gotta make sure knickknacks in it. Yeah, with her beautiful golden eyes. Here we go. Now, lions are one of the cats that are social. They do live in groups or families called prides. But Nikki, she's never liked any other cat at all. She even gets mad at bobcats. <laughs> yeah. So, in her, she has her enclosure that's set up um, behind our off, our staff offices, so that people see her. She loves to see people. But um, any other enclosures, we have a a bunch of palmettos in between mm -hmm. so she doesn't see any of the other cats. Yeah, Jinx is mm -hmm. right on the other side of that wall of yeah. green over there. And even though he he hides really well and isn't a very like loud cat, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she still would know he's there and just not be happy. Yeah. Um, we listen to the individual animal and what they want to do, much like when we were talking about do we ever pair up animals, we listen to what they want to mm -hmm. do. And uh, so Nikki, again, she just loves seeing people though. Yeah. She's an old lady. She really is. 20 years old. So she's getting a lot of baby detention right now. Yeah. Uh, we're monitoring her all the time. Um, she's, as you get older, it gets harder to walk and your muscles aren't as good. And so we monitor that. We're monitoring, you know, how much she eats, how she eats, that kind of stuff. She's mm -hmm. on some medication too. Mm -hmm. um, so when they tend to get older and geriatric like that, they get a lot of attention. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh. Nice flop. Yes. <laughs> well, we're running out of time, Nick. We love you. Yeah, but babe. We do want to go and see some of the Outback cats. Yep, we'll go see some tiger girls, and because I doubt we're going to see the boy that's out there. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. So we have our small cat vacation, but this is our big cat vacation. Yep. Go it's going to be very interesting if we can get Max to come home. <laughs> he came over and ate Did he? Good. Good. Because I was like, a part of me is like, maybe we either need to get him used to eating right next to the door to vacation <laughs> to come home. <laughs> because I don't know if he'll, if he'll willingly leave. We might have a Joseph or Hoover situation. That's what I was saying. <laughs> I thought about that today too, but I'm like, well, you know, we can just like leave it open for winning. Right. For, right. Yep. Whenever he decides he wants to go. All right. I will follow you. Okay. So we're going to be wrapping up here soon. We're going to go see um, a couple of the tigers out and out back. Thank you again very much for the donations. Like I said, these keepers give up some of their actual volunteer time with the cats to guide these tours for you guys. And right now donations um, have been a little low. So I really, really appreciate just any of you that can donate or any of you guys that are sharing this, the more of you that share, <laughs> whoops, the more of you, <laughs> least it kept its lid. That's amazing. <laughs> we got some pretty deep holes because of all this rain and water just sitting. <laughs>
Um, but anyway, so it really makes it worth it when the keepers get to, you know, at the end of the day, they get to look at their live that they did and see that the time that they gave up um, brought in money for the cat. So thank you guys very much. Also, Jinx does have two eBay auctions going right now that you guys can check out. Um, I'm hoping that those really bring in a good chunk of money for him uh, for his six year rescue anniversary that's coming up. Those end Wednesday morning. So if you're interested, please go put a bid in. I do not see Max anywhere. Max Tiger is in two and a half acres out here in vacation rotation and he has definitely been on his own agenda. <laughs> There's a jazz kids. Jazz pants. she wants it um is jasmine loves a, a shower mm -hmm. yep so we'll see if she wants that now or we'll give her some loose spice yeah sounds she, good um and a couple other uh cats came together and um they were eating the paper right off they just so we gave them loose spice so we called them the spice girl <laughs> but uh we'll, we'll give her a yeah. And then we'll give Aria some spices. Yeah, I think that's a good we'll idea. All right. You gonna have that? I think she already got a shower. I think so too. She'll take more than one. <laughs> they do all have pools as well. Tigers are amazing swimmers. They love water. And so we make sure they have pools allowed in. Our tigers in the lake over there, they actually can go and swim in the lake. <laughs> She's like, oh, I need to drink water? Okay. Yeah, the fresher the better. She's gotta check out their work. Uh-huh. Yeah, you can tell it's fresh because they dump the old water, which if there's a puddle next to it, then you know it's just been cleaned. So that is super fresh water. <laughs> well, for people who haven't seen how we clean before, we have our cleaners over here. Hi, ladies. Hi, Bucks. And um, see, she's like, okay, that's great. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> um, uh, you can see that Rebecca has a big long pole there. It's got a hook on the end. So when we see any poop or enrichment or something that shouldn't be in the enclosure, we can pull it over the side of the enclosure. We take barbecue tongs that are in, um, we're keeping up leach water. And um, we can take that out and put it into a garbage bag. That helps us to bleach our tools from enclosure to enclosure. Mm -hmm. um, we use toilet bowl brushes to clean their bowls and their trays. Well, that was not what I was expecting. <laughs> Usually, ladies, John is like, oh, my Yeah. God. <laughs> I think she'd already gotten that on the other side. Yeah, this was jazz number two. Now, the noise that she's making when she comes up is called chuffing. Mm -hmm. Chuff, chuff. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. hello in tiger talk. So she's saying, oh, hello, I'm happy. I like you, whoop, whoop, whoop. Nope, no thanks, lady. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Good try, but. Uh, the last time we did this, she, she tried got us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She, she was on vacation and yeah. we just walked out of the way. Yep. Something about the two of us together. <laughs> she's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We have a, we always told our tour guests, we have a three foot rule, but you really want to do a six foot uh -huh. rule. Uh-huh. turn around like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. you're determined, lady. <laughs> determined. <laughs> well, and we used to always tell the tour guests, like, don't just step back six feet. You have to, like, go to the side. <laughs> oh, there's Miss Aria. Oh, good. She's just time. right out in the front. So we're going to give Miss Aria some meat. <laughs> you guys are right. She was showering us back. <laughs> Only her shower requires us to take a shower. We're coming, lady. So this is Aria. And when we got Aria, she had some really bad um, uh, cuts and um, wounds from laying on concrete. And they were really deep, like down to the bone. Mm -hmm. And so um, we, it took a long time for us to nurse her back to health. She 
she's also missing a, a bunch of her teeth. She doesn't have a bunch of canines there. Uh, but she is honestly the sweetest, happiest cat. She is. Oh, some cinnamons. She's also a little bit in heat. Mm -hmm. when in heat is when we have we don't spay them if they're not with a another cat. If they are with a male cat, we make sure that they're neutered. But to spaying a tiger is a very risky procedure. Mm -hmm. So if we can avoid it, we um, don't spay them. And not for breeding or anything like that. We, it's just because we don't want to take on the risk. Right. Absolutely. So you can see on her side. She's mm -hmm. got some um, wounds, and uh, they uh, reopened the other day, but not so bad. So they're looking really good. Actually, today. yeah, this side looks and really we good. Actually, have been spraying them with a gel, mm -hmm. and so how we do that is we take a syringe without the needle on it, and we suck it up into the syringe, and then we give her some food, and we. Mm -hmm. She likes it. A I lot get to do that. Oh, good. I was like, I get to do that for the first time tomorrow morning. So oh. I'm like. Mm -hmm. We'll see how that it's goes. It's <laughs> really gooey. This one's a goo. The okay. other one was a spray. Right. So we used a spray bottle and she really didn't like that. Yeah. Not this at all. one she doesn't care about, but honestly, she's in heat right now. So yeah. she's like, oh, just spray whatever. Right. You want. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I know. She also gets some antibiotics to make sure that her infection doesn't come back because the infection she had was very severe. Mm -hmm. um, so I. Uh, she is a very, very lucky girl, and honestly, just a happy, happy, happy girl. For real, yeah. It's it, she get she's like the most positive light in, in the whole sanctuary. Yeah. I feel like she really is. Uh, she loves yes. her girl Amanda. Yes, you do. Amanda, today Amanda was getting her meds. She come over. She's like, hey, <laughs> hey, girl. She's very encouraging to her. <laughs> she also does um, like watching Jasmine too. So she mm -hmm. just loves. Cats, people, everything. And like all your neighbors. Yeah, this side doesn't look too bad either. No, we don't want that side. <laughs> I was going to say the end. And so <laughs> she, is, she is our last cat today. Yeah. Um, but you can see, again, she's a tiger with stripes. No, two tigers have the same stripes. Mm -hmm. She's just an amazing, amazing girl. I always think this is really interesting, how yeah. her stripes are kind of swirly on her tail. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite view of a cat, of a tiger. Their like little here, heart heart shaped when bottom. When you go like up the back, like I always think that's the prettiest view of a tiger. A heart shaped bottom, <laughs> or it kind of looks like an elephant when you see the whole tail. Yeah, <laughs> it does. That's it true. does. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Jen, yes. for your awesome tour. This everybody was, was fun. yeah. Everybody always loves to see Jen. So, <laughs> nice to <meet> you too. <laughs> well, thank you. Thanks, Aria, and thank you guys very much to everybody who donated, all of you guys that shared, helped out in the comments. If you want to rewatch this from the beginning, just go to dailybigcat.com. I will see you guys soon. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's our finale. Very happy tiger. Aww. <laughs> Sunday fun days. Yes, all the Sunday fun days. <laughs>